In this video, we're talking about how to find the derivative of a hyperbolic trig function. And in this particular problem, we've been given the function f of x is equal to sine of hyperbolic sine, which we sometimes call cinch. So hyperbolic sine of 3x squared plus 2x. So we've got a couple things going on here. First of all, we're going to need to know, and we should have this memorized, the derivative of sine and the derivative of hyperbolic sine. Just those basic functions, if we know their derivatives, that'll help us out a lot. So we're going to use those. We're also going to need to apply by chain rule several times in order to find this derivative. So remember that chain rule tells us that we're supposed to take the derivative of the outside function first, leaving the inside function completely alone, and then we multiply the result that we get by the derivative of the inside function. So it's like a two-step process. So what we need to realize is that the outermost function here is the sine function. So we know that the derivative of sine of x is cosine of x. So what we're going to do is pretend that this whole value inside the brackets is just x. We're just going to sort of ignore it, pretend that we have a simple sine of x instead of sine of this whole value here. So we know that the derivative of sine of x is cosine of x. So when we want to find the derivative f prime of x, we take the derivative of the outermost function first, so the derivative of sine is cosine. We're going to leave the inside function alone. So we're going to say cosine of this whole inside function here, like this. We're going to leave the whole thing alone, just ignore it for now. But then chain rule tells us that we have to multiply by the derivative of the inside function. So this inside function that we ignored is hyperbolic sine of 3x squared plus 2x. So we want to multiply the result that we got by the derivative of hyperbolic sine of 3x squared plus 2x. So we have to find the derivative of that. So this first part's done, but now we need to find the derivative of hyperbolic sine. Well, again, we're going to need to apply chain rule. So we're going to say that hyperbolic sine is the outside function. 3x squared plus 2x is the inside function. So remember, we take the derivative of the outside function first. We know the derivative of hyperbolic sine is hyperbolic cosine. So we're going to leave this first part here. So we're going to say that the derivative of hyperbolic sine is hyperbolic cosine. We're going to leave this inside function alone. So we're going to leave this alone. But now, because we ignored the inside function, chain rule tells us that we have to multiply by the derivative of this inside function. So we have to multiply by the derivative of the inside function, 3x squared plus 2x. So we'll leave these first two factors here of cosine and hyperbolic cosine, and then take the derivative of the polynomial 3x squared plus 2x. And now this is just a simple power function. So taking the derivative, here we're going to bring this exponent down in front and multiply it by the existing coefficient. So 3 times 2 gives us 6. Then we're going to keep the x, and then we're going to subtract 1 from the exponent. So 2 minus 1 is 1, so we have x to the first, which we can just write as x. So the derivative of 3x squared is 6x. And then same thing here, this is 2x to the first power, where we just haven't written the exponent. So we bring the 1 down in front and multiply it by the existing coefficient. So 2 times 1 is 2, so we're going to say 2. We leave the x, and then we subtract 1 from the exponent. So 1 minus 1 is 0, so we get 2x to the 0 power. Well, x to the 0 is just 1, so we get 1 times 2, which is just 2. So this whole thing here just becomes 6x plus 2. So if we wanted to, it would be a little cleaner. We could bring the power function 6x plus 2. We could bring that out in front. So we'll say quantity 6x plus 2 multiplied by cosine of cinch 3x squared plus 2x multiplied by cosh of 3x squared plus 2x, and that's it. This is the derivative of the function that we started with, which we found using the formulas for the derivative of sine and hyperbolic sine, and by applying chain rule.